Hello creative people, welcome back to another brand new photoshop tutorial by Mr. Abbi. In this video, I am going to show you how to create 3D artwork in Adobe Photoshop CC. So guys, we have a great tutorial for today, so let's get started and have some fun. Open Photoshop and create a new document. I am using 2560 pixels width and 1600 pixels height. Make the resolution 150 pixels per inch or you can use 72 pixels per inch. Now import the images you want to use for this project. I will give the image link in the description below so that you can follow along. So feel free to use them. Now click on the layer adjustment and select gradient. Select the black and white gradient from the list. Make the gradient style radial. Now reverse it and drag the gradient on a perfect place. Now draw a circle Make the fill none and the stroke solid color Then increase the stroke value Now change the stroke alignment into outside. Now perfectly align it to the center. Drag the image to the timeline. Hold Ctrl to make a selection from the circle area. Now turn the layer on and click on the mask icon to make a mask around the selection. Unlink the layer and the mask by clicking on the chain icon. Now we are free to move the image without moving the mask. Hold Shift and click on the mask to turn it on and off. Again, enable the link between layer and mask. Now select a brush and draw white to get back the mask area and draw black to mask out.
Now go to the layer style window. And take bevel and emboss. My technique is chisel hard. The style is inner bevel. Now increase the size and give some smoothness by increasing the soften. Now give a gradient overlay to the circle. I am picking the color from the image to perfectly match them together. Now drag the logo or other typography to the timeline. Now put the logo layer at the top of other layers. Then perfectly align it to the center. Use the arrow key from your keyboard to move the logo up and down. Now select the layers and press Ctrl plus G to group them. Duplicate the main group by pressing Ctrl plus J. Now turn off the second group. Select your main group and go to the blending option. Then use drop shadow. Now create a new layer, select the brush tool and make the hardness 0. Now click once, then press Ctrl plus T to transform it. Now freely transform it to give a shadow look. Now decrease the opacity of the shadow layer. Now select the group and the shadow layer and place on a perfect place. Activate the second group and transform it by pressing Ctrl plus T. Now add a layer mask to the group. Select the gradient tool and drag to apply some gradient. It will give a reflection look. So guys, our final artwork is done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up to my video. Also subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you. See you next time. Till then, have fun.